let's make it a little more complex let's introduce some database so since our application is now getting bigger what i'll do is i'll add a folder src and add our app.js inside of src so once i've moved it in src wherever it is being used it's likely being used in index.js yes it is being used in index.js automatically it will um, to make sure that the path is updated and I save it once I save it I'll run the test again just to test whether changing the path location has made any difference or not and it's working fine <coughs> right I'm going to close this now. I'm going to introduce inside of SRC. I'll introduce, say, uh, another folder called config. Config will have um, database dot SQL light, right? So I've decided to, to make use of SQLite. So let's go ahead and SQLite. I think that's how it is. Database Node.js. Let's SQLite SQLize. I'll be using SQLize ORM. ORM is uh, library that allows you to uh, make use of multiple database all these kind of uh, postgresql mysql mariadb sqli3 which we are going to be using uh, in our example so you need to install sqlite first of all right so let's do that npm install sqlite Right, uh, SQLite. Let's look. install SQLite 3. Let's see what the How can we do that? So we can go to SQLite npm uh, just to make sure this is the library. Yeah, it has got quite uh, few installs. This is the one we are looking for. So we'll be using npm install SQLite. Right now, just copy this, run it here. Similarly, I want another library which is SQLize. Let's go go it. And here is SQLize again, quite a few downloads. So this is the one. npm install SQLize. Again, okay. let's look at the documentation of SQLize. This is very similar to what we are going to be doing to create a model, right? Let's click on getting started. <clears throat> so the reason we are using SQLite is uh, it's a very lightweight database. For example, uh, in production application, uh, it's very unlikely that you'll be using SQLite. Um, you'll be using Postgres, MySQL, or one of the other databases. So, npm install SQLite 3. Okay, this is what we're doing. Connecting to database. So, this is what we'll be putting in our config.
db config dot js or simply sqlize dot js right because we are going to be using sqlize so we'll call it sqlize right here we have some issue installing Hyphen hyphen save is unnecessary, but let's just use it for our purpose. And while this gets installed, let's put in all of this. Okay. In our config, let's see what we want to keep, what we don't want to keep. We might not want all of this. We want to initialize. SQLite storage would be uh, that would be database dot SQLite. It's in the same folder, right? Database dot SQLite, right? Now that is done. Okay, this is a database. This is a user one. Password one. Okay, password one. See that is our example local host. All right. Uh, dialect will have to check. Do we need dialect in here? Or MS SQL, SQLite, yeah, that's an option, right? So let's just check construction. Okay, so that's that's our uh, we'll be exporting this module dot exports SQL lights, right? So the SQL is we're exporting this. Oh, this is unnecessary. Just move all three here. Right. Yeah. So we have initialized equalized and thing host would also be unnecessary. And we're going to be exporting this. Now we'll be using this inside of config uh, models, models, right? Models. So one of the models is going to be user. One of the models is going to be user.js okay so let's look at how models are initialized here we had an example here installing connecting to database done testing to uh, this will be doing closing the connection all right uh, terminal convention Mm, not really required as of now. Okay, model. Let's go to model directly. So that's 
exactly what we need right so we copy paste it entirely we do not quite need data types do data types do we need it require sequelize sequelize is equal to require right and uh, users what we want sequelize to defined user or it will have not username but first name but username uh, type data types to string allowed null false yeah password or username email email uh, email also basically we won't allow people to proceed without email as well right so here also we'll put allow now and finally password all three are going to be string type not an issue there let's look into this we need to initialize this as well okay and this is more of a functional method what we wanted was more of a class based method which is what I see here right so let's try and change this to class based method model we're going to import sequelize yeah this is the line of code we need instantiate just mention the class first then instantiate it so instead of this going to be like this it's going to be user dot init and init will take in an object just like we passed right It will also take these two values here. Okay, sequelize will be passed. The sequelize that we instantiated in the other in the config, and the rest remains the same, I believe. Right. The rest remains the same. We are just going to export this module dot exports to the user. Right. We have access to this class now. All right, that's quite something for one video. We'll get back to it in the next one and look deeper into this. So in this video, all we have done is uh, instantiate, um, the set up the configuration uh, in the first equalize, which is an ORM that is used to access database, connect with database and access, uh, make, make queries to database, different queries to database. And uh, we have also created one of the model, which is user model. Uh, in a very simple format which is a class based method we have added username email password as fields we have passed in our uh, database that we instantiated uh, sequelize and we have also exported this user model to be used elsewhere in the app in the next one we'll see actually implementing this model and making use of it to save data in SQLite. All right.